Hello my beautiful friends and welcome to your weekly horoscope for the week of February 24th where this week not only is there Mardi Gras going on which I have family who are in New Orleans so I have a love for Mardi Gras but also this week we celebrate a leap year so if you are a leap year birthday happy happy birthday to you you don't get to celebrate it every year so this is your year live it up okay all right you guys there's an interesting dynamic happening this week and I was thinking about it um, as I was kind of dipping into the energies of this week so first and foremost we've got mercury who is still in retrograde this week but he's gonna make different connections with both the Sun and Mars this week and that is an interesting concept because what it essentially brings us to is it's a great time to finish up some projects but it's not necessarily projects that are brand new right like you're not necessarily starting anything new but you're cleaning up finishing up projects and tasks maybe even mundane things that have been sitting around and now you have the opportunity to go back to them and to release them and to get them done so it's a really nice kind of week so let's jump in and talk about what is happening so first and foremost this week we have got Mardi Gras on the table so if you are going to Mardi Gras laissez le bon temps roller okay I support you madly fully have a good time travel safe um, bring lots of love to Louisiana when you step down there okay but as well keep in mind that the Sun is going to be making this beautiful merge with mercury who is retrograde so this is an interesting energy like I said the Sun wants to shine and is very very motivated motivated here in this energy right it's in the energy of Pisces it's music it's creativity it's compassion it's this fantasy dance in between the worlds which if you've ever been to Mardi Gras the masks the colors the beads the spirituality that lives down there there's just a lot happening so the Sun coming in contact with that and then also being in conjunction with this mercury that is retrograde here in Pisces it is really like taking um, a step back in time right or stepping back into your past or having compassion and empathy for things that are in your past. Where do you need healing? Where do you need creativity? Where do you need spiritual awakening? Where do you just need to clean up something from the past? This is a beautiful energy to be working with. At the same time, we will also see that Sun in Pisces in a sextile to Mars who's over in Capricorn. Now, Sun sextile Mars. This gives you an energy of movement, of success, of let's do something, let's take something on. So I think that this is a brilliant energy, especially if in your in your business in some way, shape, or form, or in your business handlings, you need to complete something. You need to really tackle it as a professional, or you need to kind of just step up to something in a bigger way. This is a very motivated energy to be able to do that. Now, if you direct your actions and your energy and your attitude into something constructive, this week I think you do see yourself able to wrap up projects but also see the success on the other side this energy is also really delicious you guys for your personal relationships because it brings an air of, of warmth it brings an air of understanding your responsibility that you carry in your personal relationships. Does your partner, do your kids, do you, do your pets, do your house plants, do they need your attention? Have you been so busy being worried about things that are happening that you've kind of forgotten to step up? Or is it time to just sit down and enjoy the life that you have what have you created there is beauty in what you've done so enjoy those energies this week really try and drink them up because this is a very motivated energy to be able to do so all right as we continue on through the week we see mercury coming into a sextile with mars so this again tells me you have the energy of taking action structured action responsible action mature action to go back and look over a past situation go back and clean up something is it time for you to finish that poetry book is it time for you to seek your health professionals and maybe look at your your medications your health and wellness do you need to sit with your spiritual teacher or your astrologer and go back over what's been going on for you where are you at are you planting the appropriate seeds right now so that they can blossom as we move towards our springtime or are your new given season depending on where you are in the world so this is a wonderful energy to take action on things from the past on the 28th we are going to see Venus, who's over in Aries, woo -woo, Venus in Aries, in a square to Pluto, who is in Capricorn. Now, I think this is such an interesting energy um, 
just a day before we actually step into our leap year time frame. Because if you think about it, and I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen that movie Leap Year, but the story behind Leap Year, or one of the concepts behind Leap Year, is that this is the the time, this leap year is this special, incredible year where women can propose to men in this particular year and it's supposed to be magical and transformative and all of this stuff, right? Which today, if we look at that in modern society, you propose to whoever you want to propose to, right? Like that standard doesn't necessarily hold up. But it is interesting because with Venus and Aries, we have this female-male balance of that energy right there. But then we also have Uranus who's in Taurus, right? So we've got this interesting dance happening. And then, of course, Pluto and Capricorn. We've got this interesting dance of the of the energies, the masculine feminine energies dancing together, right? So it creates this space where sometimes I feel like we do have this flashback where we still see this push and pull and this little bit of tug between the sexes or between the genders. And of course, here in 2020, there's a lot of talk around gender, right? The gender identity. So we can see that this Pluto Venus energy kind of creates this energy that is a power struggle. It's this push pull against this magical backdrop that once said, if you're a woman, you can only propose to a man once a year. So we have completely challenged and blown that out of the water. But nonetheless, this Venus Pluto energy and then the backdrop of Uranus and Taurus, we are still coming up against some stubborn ideas around female male energy. So I would ask you this week, where do you see a little bit of power struggle coming up for you in those particular energies? And in the square, where can you take action to break those down? Now, the other thing I think in the Pluto Venus energy is that relationships are intensified here, right? So again, where do you need to look beneath the surface with something in a relationship? Is this a business relationship? Is this a romantic relationship that maybe you're needing to get a little bit deeper and take some transformative action? Where do your relationships need to evolve? Now, this does not mean that your relationships are broken or that you can't just enjoy them. You're always having to dig through them. But sometimes as we're growing and we're changing and we come current with our reality, we have to also say, oh, okay, my finances need to evolve, my relationships need to evolve, my healing has had its evolution and now it's ready to take its place in my life. And that will also cause some changes in your relationships as well. So just look at maybe where there's a little bit of intense transformation coming in these relationships and enjoy it. Go with it for sure. And one more thing I just want to point out about a Venus, Pluto, interaction that happens is if you are in situations in your life that are just very healthy, they're well balanced, or maybe you weren't even sure, right? Because sometimes we can have the best thing ever and we're just kind of, we feel unsure about other energies that also cause us to question our relationships. If you guys survive this next couple days and you make it through, I just want you to celebrate the health and the wellness of this, this relationship, right? Because it means that your, your foundation is likely very solid and that is something Thing to celebrate. Celebrate the people that you're traveling with for sure, okay? All right, you guys. So that is the week in the bag. I think it's going to be a good week. I look forward to hearing from anybody who's traveling to Mardi Gras and having that experience. If you've got a leap year birthday, let me know in the comment section down below because I just want to send you a little cyber love and anything else that is manifesting for you this week. I look forward to checking in and touching base with you, okay? Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next week in the video. Bye, guys.